Welcome back here, let's play Jet Set for the Game Boy. I'm gonna finish off the first chapter here, or at least try. Shopping into Benton Boogie. Finally, Benton! Where we might actually one day see noise tanks, maybe. These guys! You're just gonna say look out? No! It's don't pick them off or something like that. Or it'll be no TV for the kids or something like that. I can't remember what it was. It's not getting that graffiti soul. This, these seem like good tags to get though, from the beginning. More tags. Yeah, so it seems like... So in the console version, when you had to worry about plotting your course through a level, you just kind of had to think, okay, so this entire zone here is under control of cops at this one particular point in the level if you spray this many tags. Whereas in this one, there are lots of other places. It's a bit more nuanced, actually, where there are actually lots of places that you'll find where you would think, for instance, that a chopper would be able to hit you with missiles, or that the cops would run up to you, but they won't. And they'll be right next to you the whole time. Like we saw last episode in Kogane, where we had... Those choppers, they're just right on me the whole time. Oh, what happened? They're right next to me shooting missiles at me the whole time. But they can't hit me while I was tagging. I'm trying to hit these as I pass, and it's just not happening when I press A. There's nothing over here right now. Thankfully this one's not extra large. Extra large is such a nuisance. And they use half my cams. And they take forever to do. They're a bit dangerous. And messing them up is really, really... has high consequence. Right now I, I just need... I'm basically just... going through here... and stuff as I go. Oh jeez. Why do these guys respawn over here? Wait, are they gonna be leaving me alone? They're bugged! They're not bugged! You have tear gas. The game needs to tell me why I'm getting tear gas, please! Please don't try to stick large, okay, good. Oh. Okay, I somehow messed up realizing it. Man! I didn't even see my health go to zero! Game. Okay, so I need to get those ones up there where the cops are gonna be right on me. Because that's a little bit less time efficient because I start down here. What, what's happening here? How am I making these cans, man? If that's where the cops are, then that's where I, I wanna. What's happening? I didn't realize I was down here. Or rather that down here was a thing, I guess. Also, I don't think that optional sprays count for making count towards making the cops appear. Let's go after this one first. Oh, come on. Come on, gun. Straight line. This one's not too bad. Although only she was able to get to me from pretty far away. Although, now I say that, he did actually have a star since I was tagging that other spot before I came here. Okay, so now is there a thing to worry about right over here? In terms of longer tags, I just want to get the ones that take longer first. I wish there was a more... I, one thing I really would miss from future, though, is actually knowing what size the tag is before you start spraying it. That makes a big difference. 
Especially in a game like this one, where where I didn't have to worry about cops on you as they're tagging it just for your future. In this game, you do. And you can always tell if there are two tags together that it's an extra large. Oh, you can also tell by the size of the arrow in that game, if I remember right. Extra large tags really have massive arrows. This is not the case in this game. Hands, please. I really wish this game would actually show you some kind of sign that you're getting tear gas and you're getting tear gas. Good job, Gun. I don't think Hops tear gas have actually appeared yet, when I think about it. I don't think they appear until anything appears. I think these ones are just normal foot soldiers. Whatever you want to call them. What am I doing here? There we go. This level I'm actually feeling oddly comfortable with, though. And it was going really smoothly the first time. I was getting things done, I feel like, pretty quickly, too. The first time until... Another cop speared. Still running around, but uh, I was trying to spray stuff. It wasn't happening. I was trying to jump under this rail and spray it. Let's not. Jeez, these guys are. It's tear gas. It's not something something that, like debilitates you. I mean, at least not in that sense. What? Come on. I guess they expect you to do it really quickly. Unless there's a an optical pack I missed somewhere. Okay, though. Oh, hey, you. A little grungy. I mean, I guess you can. I could see that for him around, but whatever. Speaking of which, let's play a game a little bit. Grunge head on. Nice little bap on the wall there. Do I have enough speed for this? Oh, I do. Tap on the wall. Mew, I swear. I have a feeling I just started on the wrong rail. Yeah, left rail. Okay. Well, I it was even more impressive, though. Come on, Mew. Pretty good copy of what you did. Does Mew have? If I remember right, Mew actually does get a lot of lots of points. I think Mew is a good point, good character for points. I might start playing as her after I unlock her instead of gum. Oh no! I just like a minimum time you have to spend reading this part. Let's see, press eight those arrows. Oh man, you don't get to jump into. Uh, uh, it seemed kind of like balcony thing in this game. From this big, cool, circular rail. It's fortunate. I like doing that. No way. Come on. What do you do that I didn't? Even any place like him. Okay. I run all the way over here. I'm plotting. Aha! What? Come on. Like, I knew the retry button was there, but I wanted to be creative about it. Yeah, in all seriousness, what did she do that I didn't? Let's, let's 
There we go. Whatever. I like how the other person starts joining in with your dance a moment after you start dancing to celebrate your victory. Yes, I, I'd like to see you do it, but I need to see you do it first, and you're not doing it yet. Oh, this. I wonder if it's going to be as annoying to do as it was in the other version. This is some different looking train tracks. Jeez. What was that uh, there? What was I? What was, how was I grinding on the side of that thing? I don't realize that's the thing you could do in this game. Oh, come on. in order to do, or are we just good? Okay. <laughs> you need me more than I thought. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it's a different, bit of different take on why you should join us, but it seems pretty true anyways. Okay, that having been said, so... Don't have any time for another level. So... I think... Oh, she's busy in this game? Wait. I guess things are called stuff differently in this version of the game, for some reason. I forgot, I thought she was called Biz in Japan or something. In fact, it's like the band. band that made a uh, statement of intent for Desert Radio Future. And an incidentally also made a Firebird Girls game. But anyways, I think that's going to be actually it for this episode, regardless. What kind of scores do we have? That is the worst thing to try to read. Why is it red on red? I can read it, but still. Oh, uh, it tells you which character you use, too. It's nice. Anyways. What tells you which, which uh, changes you have, too? It's interesting. Huh. Anyways. I'll see you next time, guys, where we probably use video. At least try using your own. <laughs> uh, if I want, I could actually just jump and check for you real quick. See if we're is what I think it is. No, it's not. Okay, well, never mind. So we're not using you then. Whatever. See you guys.